fans are making a lot of noise at AT&T Stadium. Anything that moves between these lines, got to get dealt with. They hand it to Potter, he comes running out the right side. Deep to the post to Lamb, at the five to the goal line. Dallas Cowboys game night is presented by AT&T, official sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. It's starting to become a tradition, a tradition like Thanksgiving, like the turkey, like the stuffings, and it's the Cowboys winning at AT&T Stadium. 45 to 10, their seventh win of over 20 points or more this season, tied for the most in franchise history as they take down the Washington Commanders here on this Thanksgiving holiday. Welcome into Cowboys game night, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. He's Nate Newton. I'm Kyle Yeomans. Glad you're with us. And Nate, it was all three phases working again for the Cowboys. An impressive win yet again for this team. And Mike McCarthy continues to win at home. Huge credit for what they've done here of this 13-game winning streak at AT&T Stadium. Hats off to Mike McCarthy and, and, and that great team that that's playing right now. They're paying attention to detail. They're focusing on what they have to do. They got, what, tw three games in 12 days, and they're saving their bodies, and but they're working their mind. They're doing a little extra watching the film, making sure they know what's going on. So you're starting to see training camp and, and how it played out and how it's uh, prospering now during the middle of the season. Yeah, you're starting to see everything work in the right direction, and each week this team continues to get better and better and also maybe make a little history along the way. It's the 56th all-time meeting on Thanksgiving for the Cowboys. They're 11th against the Washington Commanders. Second time they've seen Sam Howe. Starting late in the first quarter, Dallas took a couple drives to get started, but 11 plays, 90 yards into their third drive of the game. It was Rico Dowdle on the screen play for 15 yards. Second straight home game he's found, Pater. Oh, man, definitely. I like that his kid is moving. They're using him all different ways right here. Screen, nice block by by a big be oddish and good good play. Yeah, good play overall. All Washington would answer with a field goal in the second, but next Dallas drive, Dak Prescott keeps balling. Finds Brandon Cooks for six over the top. 14 to three, Dallas takes the lead. Over the Boom. top. He's crossing over the middle there. Hey, man, we're finding some connection with those two. Yeah, they were phenomenal. And then another game where Brandon Cooks continues to find the end zone. Sam Howell did that here for the Washington Commanders. Caps off a 13-play, yard or 13 play 75-yard drive for the Washington Commanders. But did the Commanders leave enough time for Dak Prescott and company? Just 151 on the clock, and they got some help with a lucky bounce. Dak was looking for Jalen Tolbert here. It bounces off of Jalen Tolbert and instead finds Jalen Brooks. First down, Dallas. And it sets up Tony Pollard. Just a couple plays later, he rumbles into the end zone. Dallas takes a 20 to 10 lead into the halftime break. Now, nobody scored in the third quarter. It was a 10 point lead for Dallas going into the fourth. That was until Brandon Aubrey kicks this 52 yard field goal from the left hash mark. And Dallas goes up 23 to 10. But then defensively, Washington really needs a score, and they have Micah Parsons step up. The Lion gets a bit of the feast on Thanksgiving. He has a sack, pushes Dallas all the way back. It's third down and 17. Now, Washington would pick up 16 yards, getting it to fourth and one. Jonathan Hankins with the sack behind the line of scrimmage and a phenomenal play from Hankins. His second sack of the day now gives the green light to the Dallas Cowboys offense. Dak Prescott off his back leg, finds C.D. Lamb crossing over the end zone. Touchdown C.D. His sixth of the year and the Dallas offense wasn't done yet. After another stop, Dak Prescott reaches back, throws over the seam. There's Cavante Turpin. He's in the end zone and all of a sudden everything firing on all cylinders for the Cowboys. So that means you've got to find some turkey legs in the process. And by in the process, I mean in the Salvation Army kettle. I mean, I, I'm, I wish I was riding with him now because that turkey leg looked pretty good and bring me back to old memories when I used to pass <laughs> out to the Durkins, man. I would have hit one, too. Four touchdowns for Dak Prescott. What about the defense? You need a defensive play. This isn't a replay. This is Deron Bland with his fifth pick six of the season. It breaks the NFL record. DB takes it to the house. He said he wasn't going to be stopped before he found his way to the end zone, and he makes NFL history in the process. Man, this dude is special, man. Look at that, man. Makes the quarterback miss. Makes two receivers bump into each other. Is this dude a returner? Uh, he's, uh, is he a defensive back? This guy is great. 
five pick sixes on the year. Dak Prescott had four touchdowns. Tenth game of four touchdowns or more in his NFL career as the Cowboys put up another 40 burger. 45 to 10 over the Washington Commanders and Dallas improves to eight and three on the 2023 campaign. We talked about NFL history. Let's hear from the history maker, Deron Bland. When we come back with more Cowboys game night, we hear from his fifth pick six. What did he see on the play? What was he thinking in that moment when he crossed the goal line right after this? This segment is brought to you by the Texas Lottery. Make every day game day with Dallas Cowboys scratch tickets from the Texas Lottery. Play today for your chance to win big. Seven interceptions on the campaign for Deron Bland. Two more than he had in his league or his team high five picks in 2022 as a rookie. But the more important thing is he has as many pick sixes in 2023 as he did interceptions in all of 2022 and we're only 11 games into the season as we hear from Deron Bland after the win. First of all, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, five pick sixes. You got the uh, record. Yeah. How you feel? Great, you know, especially on this day, you know, uh, just to be another thing to be thankful for. What was going through your mind after you intercepted the ball and just trying to run it back and it just, what, what were you thinking? Just go. Just go. <laughs> I was like, uh, well, actually, it was my perfect one just to show my teammates the return skills. That's what they said. They, they've seen all the pick sixes now. They said they've got to see one with some return skills. So, hopefully, I showed them. So. <laughs> Can you talk about the jubilant reception from your teammates on the sideline? It took you forever to get back to the bench. Oh. I couldn't I could even uh, celebrate after. They picked me up. <laughs> they put me in the, in the pot. So, it, you know, it's just great just how uh, that energy from your teammates is. So it means a lot. Did you think, were you afraid that you might get tackled there at the end? Uh, you know, yeah, a little bit, but, you know, got to get in the end zone. I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't going to be denied on that one. Did you not have the Salvation Army kettle uh, celebration planned ahead of time? No. <laughs> well, I, I was supposed to get in the pot by myself, but they picked me up, so I messed me all up. <laughs> What, what does it mean just as far as your story goes? You know, young California boy, Sacramento State, Fresno State, you're not coming from a power five school and thing to be able to, to do what you're doing at a rate that literally no one has ever done in the NFL. I mean, it, feels, it means a lot, you know. Uh, that was one of my biggest things, just show the kids back home, like, if you could do it. Whatever it is you put your mind to, you could do it. We heard a pretty loud roar from the locker room when you walked in. Yeah. Oh, man, great. You know, I... I I didn't even see nobody yet. All I heard was a roar, so it felt good just having the teammates just bring that energy and uh, just congratulate me on that. Yeah, definitely. I was like, right, I got to go get this one. I, I felt like I was like, kind of close. I was like, uh, I didn't want him to bat the ball down, so I was like, let me just go and try to get cut in front of him. Go get it. Oh, it means everything. You know, my family's here, so it's good to make the break the record in front of them, so. And in order to do that, and it helped the Cowboys go to a 13-game home win streak and four win, I mean, two wins in four days. Mm -hmm. Like, how key was it to help you guys do that? You know, try to keep pace with. Uh, the definitely, you know, next week we got another Thursday game, so it means a lot. Just keep this momentum going, even on the short week. How much has your, has the environment played a product in your success with, you know, Stephon on the other side, Trayvon in your ear, maybe, and Al Harris, all those guys? I mean, it's everything. You know, it's a lot. It's just a lot to learn from. You know. You got Al, who's been, what, 13-year vet. And then you got Gilly, who was another 10-year vet. And then you got Trey, who interception guys. Are. <laughs> oh, no, come on. We got our own. It was good, too. <laughs> Ron Bland, not bad for an individual who didn't even get a combine invite in 2022. He now holds the NFL record for most pick sixes in a single season. He was a fifth round pick out of a group of five school, went to Fresno State. He had five interceptions in his entire collegiate career. He has seven this year, five of them back for touchdowns. I mean, how can you put this into words? This is coaches, this coachable kid, man. He, he receives instructions. The coaches help put him in place to make plays, and he makes the plays. He does not miss an opportunity. He's having a, a super year at this point. We know he's a pro bowl and an all pro, but now will he be defensive player of the year or in that running? It remains to be seen. I think he needs to be. I mean, I've got a stat here. I just put it on Twitter, but out of – if he was eligible for – this category, he would be tied for 14th 
out of all receivers in the NFL for receiving touchdowns. The only receivers with more, Tyree Kill, Cortland Sutton, Kev or, uh, Keenan Allen, Stephon Diggs, Mike Evans, Jordan Addison, Romeo Dobbs, CeeDee Lamb, A.J. Brown, D.J. Moore, Jamar Chase, Tank Dell, and Mark Andrews. That's a lot of names. It certain, certainly sounds like it, but this is a defender with five touchdowns, and he's on that list, and those are some elite receivers that are on top of him on that list. What a year it's been for Deron Bland. Nobody sits atop him in terms of pick sixes in a single season. When we come back here on Cowboys Game Night, we're going to hear from another star performer, and that's Dak Prescott. Four touchdowns for Dak on this Thanksgiving holiday. We'll hear from QB1 next. This segment was brought to you by the Texas Lottery. Make every day game day with Dallas Cowboys scratch tickets from the Texas Lottery. Play today for your chance to win big. Dak Prescott continues to throw the ball at a high level. 22 of 32 passing. He had over 330 yards and four touchdowns. Tenth time in his career that he's had at least four passing touchdowns. Let's hear from Dak after the win. Point two. Uh, I don't know that I could just put my, you know, put, put my finger right on and say this is the why. Um, as much as, as I've talked about, new system, new play calling, uh, we're just – we know what we want to do, you know what I mean? We know how we want to attack. We know how we want to go at these different teams. Um, we're running plays that we've ran for since the spring, you know what I mean? Dressing them up different ways, giving different approach, uh, comfortable. And honestly, credit to the offensive line. I mean, I think that's where, that's where it starts, the way that they're protecting, um, giving me time to take shots down the field. Allowing me to, to extend plays, uh, whether it be use my feet, extend plays, make, make plays down the field again uh, after breaking the pocket. Um, yeah, guys are running. Guys are running to win. And uh, we're, we're just, yeah, it's, he, he, he's flying them off the call sheet, and, and it feels good. Clarence Hill for Watchtower Telegram. Uh, the turkey on the sideline, how, how did that come about? <laughs> and have you ever done that? <laughs> Oh, this this okay. group over here, Scott and this group, uh, uh, team team effort, team idea, um, and yeah, we talked about it. it was probably a two three day long process of you know whether it be a fifteen yards, uh, whether coach would accept it, and I tell you, I actually go talk to coach before every game, and sure enough, I called him as he was talking to Jerry, and so I mentioned it, and of course Jerry liked it, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and at that point, my direction was just to make sure we're up and the game was in hand. And so uh, the first, what, the touchdown, two CD, and then following two-point conversion, if you watch, I'm kind of like, I is it time? Can we do it? I'm like, no, we'll get another one. Uh, and sure enough, right after the, the, the one to Terp, was like, yeah, let's go for it. And so, and it was good. Pulling out the turkey legs here with, of course, the Salvation Army kettle being the, the hiding spot on the sideline. You can't hide from Dak Prescott if you're an opposing defense right now. Just incredible what he's been doing. Really, three of the last four weeks, he's put up record-breaking numbers. He continues to take care of the football and put up good numbers in the process. Yeah, he's, he's playing with great uh, confidence. And like my friend Isaiah Stanback would say, he's making great decisions. He's putting the ball in the right place. He's loving that seam. He's loving that deep over. He's throwing it with precision. He's just, he's just having a hell of a season right now. How much credit do you give to Mike McCarthy and then the weapons around him, too, for making the plays when needed? Yeah, to see what this kid is about and, and, and let him uh, allow him to move with his legs to help his receivers get open, I just give Mike McCarthy all the credit to see who he is and to allow him to be who he is. Yes. Yeah, it really is impressive what Dak has done, and this offense continues to trend in the right direction. Can they continue to get that ground game rolling? Tony Pollard pretty happy in his performance, was over 100 yards from scrimmage. We'll hear from running back one when we come back. Cowboys game night here from the Star in Frisco. I'm Kyle Yeomans. Tony Pollard had 19 touches. 13 carries, and then six more receptions. Here's what he had to say after hitting 100 yards from scrimmage today. Happy Thanksgiving. How'd it feel to get a, a win that big on Thanksgiving in front of the in front of all America? Uh, it was huge, you know, especially against the division opponent, you know, building that momentum going into the season. So, yeah, it was a big win for us. What do you think of the moves of Deron Blanton on that return? Did you get a good look at him? Man, um, I don't think I can see he's different. That's the only way I can explain it. Um, five touchdowns on defense. That's crazy. Like, 
what he's doing is unheard of. How do you feel about the running game right now? It seems to be progressing every game the last few weeks. Yeah, I feel like lately, you know, we've been getting the rhythm in the run game, you know, being efficient in um, everything that we've been calling, and getting the most out of it. So I feel like we're trending towards the right direction. You feel a large part of that it comes from continuity with the front five and how many, you know, they're getting more and more reps as the weeks go on? Yeah, just being out there with that same group, you know, over time, just growing together, learning each other's ways and tendencies and then just learning. You think maybe going to a little bit more zone scheme in the run game has helped as well? Um, I would say just just our execution, you know, and everything that we've been doing. Uh, you know, just just fine tuning the details of everything, making sure we're on the same page, and just going out execute. Did you uh, get your hands on one of the turkey legs that Turkey pulled out of the kettle? Uh, he threw me one, but I dropped it. I, I thought it was a hot dog at first, but I realized when he pulled it out, I need to go get one of those, man. Three games in twelve days, you know, back to back wins in that span. That's the other thing. Um, I mean, physically, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, um, we're ready to go, locked in, you know, ready for the next opponent and uh, just taking it one day at a time. Um, I mean, it's just big, you know, growing up as a kid, you know, um, going over to families' houses, watching the games, you know, um, making a big deal. Everybody's picking sides who they're cheering for. And, and now, you know, being on that stage, going out there, being able to play. So, it's just a surreal moment, actually. Tony Pollard finishes with 79 yards on the ground, but he had another 24 through the air off of six receptions. He found the end zone again. That was a seven-yard touchdown. At the point, it was a crucial one to continue pushing that offense in the right direction as we welcome you back into Cowboys game night. He's Nate Newton. And, Nate, I know you've been a huge advocate of getting the ground game rolling in the right direction. Do you feel like you're headed that direction? Yes, because they're using Tony in the right ways. You've seen him now get more outside. Yeah, we'll hit up in the middle with a kind of a, a, a draw-like uh, motion, but we'll get into the outside. We're throwing to him a little bit more. We threw to him for six targets for 24 yards. That's a great thing. We're using Tony not so much in, in quantity, but in quality. And now Rico Dollar is starting to find a rhythm, so we're okay. Yeah, it definitely looks like you're starting to build some of that continuity up front. How much does the offensive line uh, give you hope for the future? Everybody's intact. Everybody's playing well. So, you know, we have our breakdowns here and there, but as a one unit, they're rolling it with rhythm, and they're okay right now. Yeah, it's not always about the ball carriers. Nate Newton knows that. I mean, Emmett Smith wouldn't be Emmett Smith without Nate Newton, right? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Game night continues in just a couple of moments. We wrap this up and we look ahead. Another Thursday night football matchup, this time against the Seattle Seahawks. Dallas Cowboys Game Night was presented by AT&T, official sponsor of the Dallas Cowboys. That Thanksgiving dessert probably tasting a little bit sweeter for Dallas Cowboys fans after Dallas takes down the Washington Commanders 45 to 10 the final score from AT&T Stadium in Arlington 13 straight home wins for the Cowboys they've won three straight and now we're at eight and three as they enter a Thursday night football matchup with the Seattle Seahawks wrapping things up with Nate Newton Nate what do you want to see improved from this Cowboys team heading into week 13. Just keep using Tony Pollard the right way. Outside screens, throwing uh, a flare outside of the backfield, I will be satisfied because now that gives our offensive line a chance to find some rhythm, to get downfield, to start hitting people a little bit better, and still keep improving week in and week out. So we should be okay. Tough turnaround for this team. Three games in 12 days. It's never easy to play that many games in one sitting, but they've been looking good to this point. Got to rest some guys late here in this Thanksgiving Day matchup. So with that being the case, hopefully it's enough for the Cowboys to be fresh going into that Thursday night football matchup. We will be out at AT&T Stadium for that one. It will get started. Cowboys pregame live at 6 p.m. Central time from the AT&T East Plaza. Come say hi. Come hang out with us. It'll be a whole lot of fun with Nate Newton and myself, Barry Church, Isaiah Stanback involved as well. That does it for us on Cowboys game night. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.